Welcome back. In this video, I will discuss given the target class and the prediction, how to construct confusion matrix and find different performance metrics like accuracy, harmonic mean, precision, recall, and F1 score. So, first uh, we will try to understand how to construct the confusion matrix and later we will try to calculate the different uh, performance metrics. So, this is the data given to us. Uh, there are 20 examples are there. For each of the examples, so we have been given target as well as the predicted class here. Now, given these two things, that is uh, target and predicted class, uh, first we need to construct the confusion matrix. Confusion matrix for the two classes uh, looks uh, something like this. Here we have two classes, uh, one is true, another one is uh, false here. On horizontal axis, I have written the actual classes, this is uh, true and false. On the vertical axis, I have written predicted classes, again true and false over here. So, once you write these things, uh, we will be having uh, four possibilities here. One is called as uh, the true positive, that is uh, the actual class is true and the predicted class is true in this case. That is nothing but uh, true positive here. The second one is true uh, negative, that is nothing but the actual class is uh, false and uh, predicted class is false here. That is known as uh, true negative in this case. Now, if the actual class is true, and the predicted class is false, it is called as false negative. It is actually not a false one, but it is predicted as false. That is the reason it is called as false negative in this case. Now, coming back to this one, that is actual class is false, but the predicted class is true. That means, uh, it is a false positive in this case. Now, we need to know, uh, find all these values and then we can calculate the different uh, performance matrix here. Now, the question comes in front of us, how to calculate this uh, true positive? True positive means, the actual class is true and the predicted class is true. So, we need to count it here. Now, if you go on counting here, the actual class is true here and the predicted class is true. That is nothing but it is 1. This is the second one. This is the third one, fourth, fifth and then uh, sixth year, seventh year and eighth year. So, total number of uh, true positive are how many? Eight in this case. Now, coming back to true negative, that is actual class is false. And the predicted class is false here. So, this is the first one, second one, third one, fourth one, fifth, sixth, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So, totally eleven are there. So, that is nothing but eleven uh, true negative examples are there. Now, coming back to this one, that is a false positive. The actual class should be what? False, but the predicted class should be true here. Now, if you go on counting in this case, uh, we have considered all these things here. Uh, again, we have considered all these things here. Uh, I think uh, we haven't have any of these uh, possibilities where the actual class is false and the uh, predicted class is true here. The meaning of this one is it is equal to 0 in this case. Coming back to false negative, actual class should be true and the predicted class should be false here. Again, we have considered all these things here. Uh, in this case, I think we have considered all again here. Here, we have not considered this particular possibility. That is, uh, actual class is uh, uh, true here and the predicted class is false. The meaning is we have only one uh, example where the actual class is true and the predicted class is false here. So, this is how actually the uh, confusion matrix looks like. Uh, that is what I have written one more time in this uh, matrix here. Now, once you calculate or once you find this uh, confusion matrix, the next uh, step is to calculate the accuracy and uh, misclassification rate. Accuracy is always equal to true positive plus uh, true negative divided by all possibilities. That is uh, true positive and true negative divided by all possibilities here. That is nothing but 8 plus 11 divided by 8 plus 11 plus 0 plus 1 which is equal to 0.95 in this case. Coming back to the second one that is misclassification rate that is equal to false positive plus false negative divided by all possibilities here. False positive is 0 plus uh, false uh, a negative is 1 divided by all possibilities which is equal to 0 0.05 in this case. But if I add uh, this accuracy and misclassification rate, it will be equal to 1 in this case. Now, coming back to the next one that is uh, average uh, class accuracy. It is also known as uh, harmonic mean here. Calculate the harmonic mean. Uh, first, we need to calculate the recall of each target level. In this case, there are two target levels are there. One is called as true. Another one is uh, false here. So, first we will calculate recall of true. Recall of uh, true is equal to total number of times a true example is classified correctly. Here I have written 8. That means there are totally 8 true examples are there and they were classified uh, correctly in this case. 
and total number of true examples are how many total number of true examples are 9 out of 9 uh, 8 were classified correctly here that is the meaning of uh, recall of true here now recall of false is the number of times false example is classified correctly in this case 11 uh, false examples are classified correctly here and total number of false examples are again 11 here so 11 over 11 is equal to 1 in this case now once you calculate recall of true and recall of false that is nothing but uh, the recall for each target level the average class accuracy also known as harmonic mean is equal to 1 divided by 1 divided by the number of uh, levels here in this case we have two levels one is called as true another one is called as false here multiplied by summation of 1 divided by recall of all possible levels here uh, in this case 1 divided by recall of true 1 divided by recall of false in this case now we have all those particular values we will put in this situation to calculate the harmonic mean so average class accuracy or harmonic mean is equal to 1 divided by 1 divided by 2 that is the number of levels here multiplied by 1 divided by recall of true this is equal to 1 divided by 0 0.889 1 divided by recall of false which is equal to 1 divided by 1 here and once I solve this one I will be getting the value as 0 0.941 that is nothing but the harmonic mean for the given data in this case coming back to the next one uh, that is precision and recall the precision is always equal to true positive divided by true positive plus uh, false positive uh, true positive is equal to 8 here divided by true positive again 8 false positive is equal to 0 in this case once i put all the values uh, and solve this equation i will get 1 as the precision in this case coming back to the next one that is recall recall is always equal to true positive divided by true positive plus false negative in this case so true positive and true positive that is 8 8 uh, similar to the previous equation false negative if you look at this particular false negative which is equal to 1 here if i put into this equation and calculate i'll be putting the value as 0.889 as recall in this case coming back to the last one that is f1 measure or also known as f1 score which is equal to 2 times mul uh, precision multiplied by uh, recall divided by precision plus recall here we have already calculated precision recall we will put all the values in this equation and once you solve this equation the f1 score will be equal to 0.941 in this case so uh, in this video i have discussed given the true class as well as the predicted class how to construct the confusion matrix and how to calculate accuracy misclassification rate harmonic mean precision recall and f1 measure I hope uh, the concept of uh, confusion matrix is clear. If you like the video, do like and share with your friends. Press the subscribe button for more videos. Press the bell icon for regular updates. Thank you for watching.